Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts and I want to talk about the connection between sluggish bile and neurological dysfunction. A lot of people don't see the connection between these two things. So what I want to do is I want to explain how sluggish bile can contribute to neurological dysfunction. Now, we have bile that gets stored in the gallbladder and the bile, what it does is it gets released into the small intestines in response to us taking in fat through our diet. Now, what happens is that if we have a high amount of fat-soluble toxins coming into the body, this can make the bile a lot more sluggish and thickened. Another reason why that bile can become more sluggish is if we have a high sugar content in our diet. And a high sugar content is shown to also cause that bile to become more sluggish. Another thing that can actually contribute to the bile becoming more sluggish is if we're not taking in the nutrients that help to properly release that bile. Another contributing factor to sluggish bile can be if we have insufficient hydrochloric acid, because the hydrochloric acid will help to release and help in the proper secretion of bile into the small intestines. So if we have sluggish and thickened bile, then what can happen is that as we have high amounts of fat soluble toxins coming into the body, then what can happen is that the bile can't bind those fat soluble toxins effectively. So what we have is then we have some unbound fat soluble toxins that because the bile isn't able to do its job effectively, that unbound fat soluble toxins actually move into circulation. So they move into the bloodstream. Now when these unbound fat soluble toxins are within circulation, then they are going to get absorbed into different fat tissues in the body. So the most common ones, the ones that people mostly think about is our adipose tissues. So those fat soluble toxins will get absorbed into adipose tissues. They'll also get absorbed into visceral fat. And visceral fat is the fat that is the cushioning around our organs. And the other place that those unbound fat soluble toxins are going to get absorbed into is our neurological system because our neurological system is really high fat content. And this is what people don't really think about. They don't think about those unbound fat soluble toxins getting absorbed into those neurological tissues. And when they're in those neurological tissues, they're going to increase inflammation in those tissues and contribute to dysfunction of the neurological system. So this is the connection between having sluggish bile and having neurological dysfunction. And this is why it's very important for us to be able to get that gallbladder working well to get the bile flowing a lot better in order to effectively treat neurological dysfunction and to be able to also prevent neurological dysfunction in order to keep our brain in balance and make sure that we really take care of our brain, take care of our neurological system, we need to make sure that we are also taking care of our bile flow and our detox pathways in order to effectively treat the neurological system. Now in terms of those fat soluble toxins moving into those neurological tissues, this is 
meant to be a short-term protective mechanism in the body. But until we get that digestive tract and the liver functioning better and not being overloaded with toxins, our body will not effectively release those fat-soluble toxins into circulation until it's safe for our body to do so. All right, so I hope that helps to explain the connection between sluggish bile and neurological dysfunction. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I encourage you to share this information with your friends and family, to press the like button, to make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health.